Economist Natalie Gochner says Utah's success created challenges accelerated by the pandemic. When you turn your economy off and have to turn it back on, it really changes confidence. That's despite the overall numbers on the American economy. Unemployment down, wages up, the stock market soaring. We're doing better than Europe. We're doing better than China. We're doing better than Mexico. Uh, we're doing better than Canada. And Utah on top of all the indicators and then some. We've been an elite economy, outperforming every state by a variety of measures. I see a different part of the economy. As CEO of the Utah Food Bank, Jeanette Bott saw the struggles increase through the pandemic. I'm so grateful we were there to help these folks, but unfortunately the numbers have never come down. It hasn't changed back to anything that we thought was normal before COVID. In 2017, 60% of food insecure Utahns earned too much to qualify for federal benefits. In 2022, 75% earned too much. In other words, more money did not mean less hunger. But food prices are a small factor. Higher wages and more jobs have created another problem. Just unbelievably rapid appreciation in housing prices that's made it so hard to like recruit people, bring people but also it takes away from your household income to do other things. In April of 2019, a family earning $100,000 a year could afford 45% of homes on the market in Salt Lake City. This past April, that same income could buy 9% of homes for sale. So house payments crowd out the grocery budget, and child care gets bumped down the list as well. The two problems converge at the local library. So there are 11 libraries right here in the valley that Utah Food Bank takes dinner to and serves children every evening because those kids are going to the library because parents can't afford daycare. In response, in the 2024 Utah legislative session, lawmakers made it easier to operate an in-home child care business and offered subsidies for the children of anyone employed full-time as a child care worker. And on housing, they granted counties and cities more authority to zone for affordable homes. The policies are inexpensive and incremental, if they're effective, we likely won't know for a few years. In Salt Lake City, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.